Host News Channel 7. This is the News at 10. Welcome to the Sunday edition of the News at 10. I'm Morgan Romero. Today was a memorable day for some family and friends who lost loved ones during the pandemic. 15 men and women patrollers from Bogus Basin who lost their lives the past two years were honored today. What was once their daily routine became their last and final sweep down the mountain, a sweep dedicated to them. Katya Stebovic has a story. It's not a job for everyone. Rourke was living the dream. It takes strength. Uh, he knew when to be serious. Passion. And he knew when he didn't have to be. Um, and even when things were serious, he was still having a good time. And a love for the great outdoors. And it became a, something that he enjoyed. It was fun. It was fun for him. It wasn't work. Today, 15 lives of patrollers, both men and women, were honored. Ski patroller Arlene Kawakami. Ski patroller Terry Loxley. To me, he was a teddy bear. To you guys, he was a leader. The ceremony was a final sweep down the mountain. A sweep is a regular duty for a patroller at the end of every ski day. Today was the final sweep for 15 of Bogus's beloved patrollers who passed away within the last two years, most of them who lived long, adventure-filled lives. Many of the folks that we honored today, well, the average age was well over 80. So what it tells you is get up here and you ski and you do some athletic things and stay involved in alpine sports. I don't know, maybe it makes you live longer. While no end is easy, one thing that is for sure, skiing that mountain will never feel the same without them. We all knew that this was the place and Bogus Basin is a big part of that, that reason and Rourke just wanted to be a part of that like we all do. And today he was a part of it and that means the world that he was here today. Yeah, a special moment for so many families. And today was the largest number of patrollers that Bogus Basin honored. And that is simply because the event took a two year pause because of the pandemic. Morgan. Katya, I'm so glad we were able to get up there on that mountain today and tell this story. I know they do this every year, but it felt like it was even more special to them this year. Absolutely. And some of them unfortunately passed because of the virus as well. So mm. it was a tough day. All right, Katya Stepovic, thank you.